Did you know that there is actually a feature within Canva that's going to help you edit your pictures for your YouTube community tab without you even having to open up a design? You might want to use the community tab when you are announcing that you have a new video. I'm going to share with you one way that you can use that image for that. We're going to upload. So up here in the right hand corner of the big banner on Canvas homepage, you're going to click upload and choose file. I'm going to choose this file right here. You may not know this, but Snazzy Vegan Life has been promising for a very long time pancakes. She is going to share pancakes. Let's get the pancake picture back up. This is the modal photo editor, which has been there, but sometimes people just don't know that these features exist. And I'm going to shine a spotlight on this one. And these are actually the pancakes that Snazzy Vegan Life made. This should be her actual thumbnail for the video. And instead of using in a design, instead of adding to a template, what she could do is click edit photo. And we're going to open up this modal photo editor. And essentially it lets you edit a picture without being in a design. Like I don't have to open up a presentation or a video or even a thumbnail document. I can edit it right there on Canva's homepage. The photo editor is simplified version of the what's in a design. But for this, we don't need it. What I love about this is that if Snazzy Vegan Life decided she wanted to share this image on her community tab, and you know how on YouTube community tabs, it will make it square anyway, and someone has to click on it to uh, expand it. She could just make the image square by simply clicking the crop button and then clicking one to one. And watch this, a little square pops up right there and we can left click our mouse and drag the image to wherever we would like. Or we can even click smart crop and it will choose for us. And I actually think that did a pretty good job, but I might just move it over a little bit and click done. And now look, I've got a square image. Or if, if Sharon had done this, she'd have a square image to share on her, ooh, on her YouTube community tab. And also right here, she could use magic eraser to erase something. If she saw something like, let me, let me take a little brush because if I scroll in, I see something like orange right here that could be erased. And I see something right there let me i'm just clicking my little mouse button and and trying to get rid of something just to make it a good quality image and then we're going to click back so that we can go back you have an eagle eye yes i do um especially when it comes to like looking at little little bitty itty bitty things that are on an image like i spotted that and i'm like oh it needs a little touch up i don't see why we would need to magic edit anything but we could add a filter here i'm not sure that i would add a filter because this picture is so so good we could click blur and guess what you got a blur brush right inside of this photo editor what if we wanted to make these blue blur blue blurries wow i really can't speak today this blueberry a little blurrier well, guess what? I can reduce the brush size. Let's uh, very hastily go like this. This is not going to be great, but that's all right. Let's just hastily go like that. That was probably too intense. So we're going to click undo. I think what was there was fine, but I just wanted to sh show you that you could do that. The other thing you could do is go ahead and give an adjustment. Let's click auto adjust. I really like the way that that looks. And now what I'm going to do is click save. I can either save this straight into Canva or download it so that I don't need to open it up into Canva. 
But let me show you what happens if you just save it into Canva. It's going to go to your uploads file. I don't, I think it's this one. So now I can click using a design. It's going to open it up. That says 1069 by 1069. I might would prefer 1080 by 1080, but we could just magic switch that. We could um, maybe say new video. So let's go to edit image, type in new video. Let's see if there's a graphic new video. That looks like it's actually an animation, which is kind of cool. I actually would rather have a static one. So you could do something like that. You could even make it animated if you want and download it as a GIF. Great idea for the community tab. I like the Boulder one if it were static. Now the Boulder one would be fine if it does. I actually really like this one a lot. And I'm going to show you why I like this in addition to uh, it giving a little movement where you can change the color of the animation. So I've got the color file here that's the darker shade. And I could actually change that to something else if I wanted that's within that picture. So I could choose this color, which is a little darker, and then I could choose the whiter color and change it as well, right? Like that's just pretty cool. Getting your images done for your community post are important, but making your thumbnail images stand out, that's even more important. Click into this video to discover a few features that are going to make even better thumbnails for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.